What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as France. So to kind of kick off this part, um, I've been intercepted by the British on my way to retake Quebec. And this gives me quite an interesting opportunity to be able to mince up the Quebec garrison and also knock out some elite British troops. So let's get at it. Um, let's go back to Northern France because it's the biggest, it's the most developed. Gradually expand um, through North America. Super careful with this army, um, but the priority would be destroying the second force coming in. Um, the priority of the first force would be to knock out those units of marines, which are elite, um, but I need to... But I need to rely on my guns doing the work. So I think I'm going to deploy over here. Gives me a good field of fire. My artillery. Let's deploy one battery out here outside of the. Well, actually, let's, let's split them up by one unit of line infantry. Then this unit of guns here. So, not you, everyone but you. Okay, let's put four on this flank. Group, not you. Slightly stronger right flank, but that's manageable. Cavalry unit hiding here in the trees. Tribal auxiliary fire will off. It's going to sit here. Um, militia unit's going to sit here to cover the guns. Fire will off. And they'll cover this unit. The pikes will cover the main battery. And this unit of skirmishes is going to reinforce the left flank. And the general's going to sit here and have a look at the lie of the land. Okay, so they're coming in from this direction. There you go, Lip. them up there, get my cavalry over here as well. I'm not really bothered about these guys. A, they'll take a long time to get up here. Firstly though, I want to redeploy these Hessian line units to maximise their firepower. So over here is where I want to be. The general's bodyguard charged my infantry, so let's see if I can chop up the general's bodyguard. While this is going on, move up these two units of line. Charge up. So that way I can focus... Fu oh, no, don't charge up entirely, actually. Rush my tribal auxiliary in. Um, I was going to run in, but I realised I want them to actually advance somewhat. So I can actually... Um, massacre them with overwhelming fire. Like, if I ran up here, I'd make them rout. Those pikes, those are pikes. Okay. Even in these troubled times, you can't just run cavalry into pikes. Make sure everyone's got fire at will on because I need to engage those pikemen rapidly. How's everyone doing over here? Mm. Still just pummeling them away. Get the guns switching to canister. I 
not being clever at all on this flank. And that's okay. Alright, either way, I managed to provoke their demi cannons into charging. Halt. Then form square. Form my liner, run my cavalry, canist my, um. Form my pikes up. Good. Yeah, they're both firing canister. It's the Worcester Regiment. So you fire canister. The Worcester Regiment. Because the Marines are retreated. So just take what you kill as you can get. Oh god, the cavalry are absolutely getting massacred by my pikes. So their pikes are going to be able to countercharge me, unfortunately. Go get some shots off on those pikes. Keep chasing them down. Swivel this flank. Oh, okay. Okay, my okay, the marines have finally committed. Pikes back, have them turn on fire at will. Yeah, I want to engage these guys in a line battle. If I make them rout too quickly like that, they'll rout leave the field of battle before I can actually kill enough of them. I can't loosely charge my cavalry up because they've got more marines at the back, but no doubt they will recover and then come back. Unit of line. You go round shot, support that unit. You stay firing at the Worcester Regiment. You also fire at the Worcester Regiment. You're back over here. Spread them out a bit more. Yeah, I need to fire my fire maximum amounts of rounds to destroy as many of them as possible. So that the garrison is extra weak by the time I attack it. Obviously, ideally I'll destroy these guys as well, but I'll take the damage that I get. So fall back a bit, spread out my line a bit more to maximize the amount of guns on the front rank. These are irregulars, which aren't my priority target. They are and fire at the marines again. You round shot at this unit of marines, you keep... Let's fall them back a bit so they can rely on both units of fire to take out this unit of infantry. Good. These guys are being shot to pieces. Actually my, 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 actually, my native auxiliary can fire over the heads. My light cavalry can't. But let's send them over here. I'm ready to start to hack down some of these uh, errant pieces of errant unit infantry units. Charge the marines, stop them from charging my guns. And also smash into them with my colonial horse. And my general to provide support. Hit 
them to an on fire wheel for my regulars because they can fire over the heads. Well, they might have killed some of my own guys, but I'll take it. General is in difficulty. Shaken, wavering. Guns, where's my general? General, general, general. Chop down the unit of marines. Colonial light. Run around the back. You spin around. I want these to be ready to charge cavalry. Sprinting my general through that unit. I'm kind of ignoring this flank, but this flank seems to be doing okay. Pikes are wavering, they're probably getting shot at by some random direction. There you go, General. Keep chasing the Marines down. Get my cavalry out of the way. My gun's having a go. They're chasing the marines down. Wherever their cannons actually are now. You chase down that unit of marines. They're both chasing them down. Sound the general advance. They are coming back, but that's okay. Good, all of my cavalry is committed. They've done their job, spin them round, hit this unit of line, and actually execute that unit of. Get these guys to run in the way. Come on, one last marine to chop down. Chop. Sprint. Don't worry about them. Don't worry about them. Go for them. Continue. I must slaughter the British while I can. Oh, good. They did manage to catch up with that unit of line. Turn off fire, will critically. Where's my other unit of cavalry? These guys. You. So this is the thing. Oh look, there's the colours. You just need to let them do what they need to do. This is what I mean by pathfinding an empire is a bit naff. A 
have to make it a bit more manual. There you go, see, and because of this, they may manage to flee the battle. There you go, just set everyone on them. It's these guys that are going to get to the red zone. F oh no, the red zone's pretty far away. And it's only three. So it's those two and him. Excellent. But Quebec is, for me, Quebec is worth it to hold that key territory in North America. Oh, look at that. I've pushed them back and I've destroyed the garrison. So then I will just take it. Okay, so first, rather than replenishing anything, I, rather than repa rep ugh, repairing anything, I will, I will replenish my troops. Because um, eventually... Eventually they'll regroup, or the Iroquois will regroup and take Montreal, but that's okay. I can deal with Montreal. If I lose Montreal, I'll at least have a base here from which to conduct my attacks. So let's go back to Europe. How's everything going? Ah, raiding Savoy army is about to be met by this army of mercenaries. Laying siege to Savoy, so all this might go away anyway. Oh, I don't trust Spain. Oh yeah, pushing into... Pushing into Europe, pushing into Berlin. I'm going to hold on to it. Like I said, I'm, I am terribly scared of mortars. Recently, um, I've recently uploaded, well, as of recording, I'd recently uploaded my Dutch uh, video whilst I was trying to capture, um, I can't remember which, which uh, region it was now, but just watching all those mortars again just wreaking havoc was just abhorrent. Okay, so then India, I got rid of India, didn't I? Oh, I lost it. Traded it away for peace, which didn't really help. Got break sloop and sell me. Got some broken fifth rates. How's my tech doing? Tech's doing good, I've got a solid hold. In terms of education, um, they didn't really like me, but they will eventually as the resistance of foreign occupation goes down, and as I slowly start to recruit more. Oh, look at that. Oh, do I have a church school? I do, but it's broken, so I'm going to send my Catholic missionary out to Amsterdam, actually, to start to try to convert the local Protestant population and to get that religious unrest down, because that will help quite a lot. Now, Paris isn't converting because my college is broken, but... Oh, God, so many mortars. Yeah, that's not happening. Not with um, early war troops. Not doing it. Okay, I'm going to... Okay, so let's do a bit of, bit of diplomacy. Russia. Quest peace. Oh. Mughal Empire. Request peace. Request trade. Request peace. Request trade. And how about I give you Sexton? Peace. Trade. And I give you... Yeah, let's give you Division of Labour. I can't give you a state gift. Good. Well, I need to. Well, I want to give them a state gift because they're worth so much money for trade. Ready? Okay, let's hit end turn. Let's see what carnage happens. So someone described about one way to keep this campaign fun would be for me to not outright destroy Britain and capture the colonies and capture um, Great Britain uh, to kind of keep them around to be a, a frustrating antagonist. I'm fairly sure if I smashed into them, I'll just destroy them. But I don't want to. F don't want to fight it really. You want an alliance? Yes. 
except their fleets and their forces may be handy for future wars. Then again, I'm already at war with everyone already, um, but I'm fairly sure you abandoned me um, because of those wars. But, but still, let's try to get some allies while they can, because eventually when I become too much of a badass, they'll all abandon me anyway. I need to keep Spain healthy and on side as well. Because when Spain turns on me, because they will, um, they can be quite frustrating. No. I don't want access to Sweden. Why would I need access to Sweden? <laughs> If you were to give me Copenhagen, that would be something. If you have Copenhagen, which you probably do by now, that would be something. But, you know, as it is, you didn't. So, not interested. Oh, yeah, I forgot all about Louisiana. <laughs> you check my Paris garrison is actually strong. So I don't end up losing them. Losing them to a sudden sneaky uh, Savoyan raiding force, because that would be supremely awkward. But I've got, but I've got a couple, couple of good armies on the continent. Yeah, I'm, I don't know what this is about. Have, have they had like their own little civil war? There's a port in this region. Let me raid a little. Oh, yeah, I get a full stack garrison. Fishing port will help your population grow. A trade port will provide an income from overseas trade. Okay. A naval port. Actually, let's do. Oh, no, it can't do farms because I've already done some good stuff. Upgrade my trade port. Well, at first, repair my force and repair my army. High yield iron mine and a poor smith. 1800 gets me 1400 region wealth. Yes, please. A selective investment, but good investment. Good. So I'm slowly starting to convert them. Plan for reform is going to go up, but that's going to go up as religious unrest goes down. Hmm. Might have to. Well, I am upgrading that boardy house, which is good. You need to chase down that Savoyan force. Oh, I forgot this Swiss pikemen. Hmm. Let's fight it. I'd have to do a big have my weaker battle line, my pikes meet up in the flanks, hit them with melee, and then go for it to knock them out. Because if I run them head on, I'll take too many casualties. My pokes will be knackered, but pokes are very, very good early on if they've got, if there isn't uh, if you uh, bayonet attack. Maybe I won't charge them forward if they're going to run towards me. Have these guys deploy stakes because they can. <laughs> no, oh, you got some, some units of line. Sorry, I'm just checking my uh, sound levels. 
might be just knock it down a bit. Okie dokie, so Oh no, they're just forming their line. Okay. Actually, send my troops down here. Because they'll be in a defilade. Be a bit provocative and put some irregulars in. They are being they are quite isolated, but they should be safe. Good range, good accuracy, they re they're slow to reload, but that's okay. Slightly outrange line infantry. Do they have bayonets? No, they do not. Good, so they will be chewed up. <laughs> Once they start occupying this area, they might want to get some shots off. Absolutely smashing them. General's gone for the square. Oh, 
Charge on. Dedicate one unit to chase them down. Eh, General died, but he was only a captain, so... Keep that unit of infantry chasing them down, get my Swiss pikes into this unit of militia. See, pikemen still have a place on the modern battlefield in this era. Continue just to see what, just to see if I can get any. Oh, it's a bad idea. Oh, well. It will not be long till they find, till they flee the battlefield. I was hoping. Well, I should have checked really. I was hoping they were a bit more clustered in. So if I do halt, halt, they can at least get some musket shots off on them. It's probably more effective than chasing them. But I don't think they've got a single guy. Oh, they might, might be able to catch up with these guys. They're tired. My guys are tired too. There we go. That's a bit of Benny Hill going on. Oh, they are, they are catching up with this unit. Not that it did them any good. First US president. Hmm. Lots of parallels of that going on in the in the Gulf right now with the Royal Navy. Oh, look at that! So they're just going to run around and break some more of my things. Okay, first thing I'm going to do though is fix my. Oh, I can't do that. Can't fix that. Can I fix this one? Nope. That's rather frustrating. C'est la vie. Radio. But looking at the part. Looking at the timer, sorry. I think that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time.